here with John Adamson in the MX2 class here at Blacksall. Nice to see you, John. How are you feeling coming into Blacksall? I heard you've had a maybe slight knee injury the last few weeks, so how are you feeling? Um, yeah, I've got no pain in my knee anymore, but I did twist it and it swelled up quite bad, so my leg was definitely stiff for a few weeks, but it's getting better and should be ready for tomorrow. Is this a track you've been to prior and you've been there before? Uh, yeah, this was actually one of the tracks that Simon, the team owner, noticed me at, so there's good memories here. Um, didn't have the best starts last last time I raced here, but seemed to come through the pack quite well and get some decent results. Mm. Well, obviously, second place last time out of Fox Hill, you're hoping to kind of build on that, and now what are your kind of targets throughout the last remaining rounds of the season? From the start, it's just really been to be consistent, so we've been consistently up the front, well, consistently there or thereabouts which has put us in the mix for the championship so obviously the podium is the goal and anywhere in the top five is a good day. How important would that be to maybe get a podium spot at the end of the season? Would it just would it feel good? Well there's only three rounds left so time's running out we want to be in that second place. Obviously Conrad's a bit out front just now it's really really for second place so unless something happened to him which obviously nobody hopes for but Second place would be, I would, yeah, fulfil what I really hoped for, really. Yeah, cool. Well, I hope to see you on the podium maybe today, well, tomorrow after the races. So, yeah, yeah best of luck. Cheers. Here with Bailey Johnson and James Barker from the MXY2 class. Bailey, I'll start with you. It's kind of been going good the last few rounds for you. Talk us through it. Yeah, it's been going good. Um, started off the season with not very good. Um, start um got disqualified in the first race so from then i've just been trying to gain as many points and take the lead as early as possible so i'm only 10 points behind now so hopefully after this weekend i should take the points point lead and be winning the british yeah have you ever been to blacksall before is this track you've been before um i've rode it once yeah for the british a few years ago but i've only run it once and what do you like it it's yeah I, I like it it's quite rough and sand it suits me suits me well and you, James, you're third in the championship now. Yeah, again, just, a few good rounds coming here to Sunday the races. Is this again a track you like? Is it been your Yeah, I like sand. I'm not too keen on hard pack, but sand's more my style. I enjoy it a lot more riding. And I've seen you've been obviously taking part in EMX rounds this year. What's yeah, that been I've like been the doing experience? A, yeah, I've been doing a couple of them there. Good, good experience more than anything. But you're trying to scrape inside the top 20s and score some points over there. And for both of you next year, what are your plans kind of next year to stay around in this class or to try and move? Um, move next year I'll be racing EMX, hopefully getting some uh, good positions in that. And then over here we'll just see see what we decide to do. And what about you James? Yeah, same. Race 125s over here and EMX, try and get in some top 10s. Cool. Well, hopefully see you both on the podium after the race on Sunday. I'll catch up with you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Here with Harry Kulas from the MX1 class here at Blacksall. Harry, second in the championship, 10 points from the lead now. Just how are you feeling coming into this weekend? Yeah, we had a small, uh, small break uh, from the British Championship now and uh, the last two rounds have been really good. Uh, first overall, both, both races. So, so yeah, I mean, feeling is good on the bike. Uh, Yamaha works really, really well now and uh, yeah, I enjoy riding lately. Also, national races in uh, in Estonia, Finland, and uh, yeah, all the races have been have been good. So yeah, it's uh, still we have three rounds to go. It's kind of halfway. So yeah, I mean, Black Soul is nice track. So yeah, looking forward. Obviously, you've been in this game now for a, a very long time. You're kind of professional, but obviously, when you're doing a GPS and you're at a, a kind of like you said, Estonia, Finland, all different rounds. Just how physically demanding is it mentally on on the body now? Is it is it hard to kind of do you feel the effects of coming kind of to rounds like this where you feel a bit tired or are you still feeling fresh and ready to go? No, yeah, I, I take care of the the timing, you know, like uh, pre championship is quite important for the, for the team and for me and, and so all the other races, they are like just kind of practice. Yeah. I mean, the Estonian and Finland races mainly. So obviously it's quite physically quite tough weekends. We have, when we have Estonian championship Saturday, then we take the the boat to Finland for Sunday race, so it's quite long weekends, but it's good training and uh, and yeah, during the week it's uh, it's been like quite easy now lately. Uh, it's also like we had really good weather in Estonia, so it's kind of like a summer break for me. 
since uh, yeah since like uh, materly GP when we went home so we had like three weekends at, at home so it was uh, possible to chill around a little bit and uh, yeah take time off and uh, focus for the second part of the English uh, championships and obviously you say there's still a lot of racing to go left halfway point but to finish obviously you're in a good position if you finish the 2021 season as British MX1 champion how important would that feel how, what would it mean to you and also the team Yamaha I mean, yeah, it will mean a lot, you know. Uh, I don't have the championship from England, so that will be mega for me and also uh, for my for my team and, and team boss Lee Weber. He's like he's uh, he always wants to to get the title, and uh, we got the the race wins, we got the overall wins. So these all are like uh, nice things for uh, for them. And now Chris and Yamaha has uh, helped this year us quite big time. So it's uh, it will be nice to get them back something so in in the all big picture it's it yeah it means for sure everyone a lot so uh, so yeah hopefully we can uh, yeah I do my best all the cap screens Crescent Yamaha we we do the best we can and uh, try to finish every race try to stay on on top top three every round so uh, that's the main thing to be consistent and uh, not DNF and and we will see where we end up in the, in the last round land rake cool. well fingers crossed and help Hopefully see you tomorrow on the podium and I'll catch you up after the races. Thank you. Cool. Here with Walbina, who's racing in the Big Wheel 85 class here in Blackstar this weekend. Well, fifth in the championship. I've seen you quite a lot after the races on the podium and that. So talk us through your season so far. Have you been happy? Um, I've been happy with uh, three rounds in go pan to me, to be honest. Uh, I had three DNFs and then um, the other few rounds I've been like getting my head back together and building up confidence and yeah just picking some good points up and yeah keeping things in the flow yeah coming to black side have you ever been to this circuit before do you like it um yeah i came here in 2018 um tracks changed quite a lot but yeah it's definitely one of my favorite tracks on the calendar and can't wait to can't wait to race tomorrow and obviously midweek some stuff when you're out on the bike is there certain stuff you kind of work on in preparation for the races where you feel maybe you're lacking or is there certain stuff you've been trying to work on uh yeah i've been Working really hard on and off the bike. Been getting a lot of cycling, gym, gym uh, prepping, and then um, I've been going to a lot of sand tracks the past two weeks. Just been getting in the flow with the different soil, and obviously because Whitby was quite hard. But yeah, definitely prepared for tomorrow. Well, should we go in? Obviously, finally now going into next year. Is it your plans to stay on the big wheel eighty five? What are your plans for next year? So um, next year, I'm hoping to go one two five and compete in the EMX125 but to be honest I need the team to be out and racing in Europe but at the same time I've been working really hard and stuff so it just hopefully it'll come. Definitely hope the opportunity comes because I know you've got the talent yeah. so hopefully see you tomorrow anyway after the races I catch on the podium. Yeah thank you, cheers. Good luck, mate.